Brasil. Today we're talking about how to come yourself using just left hand voicing based on the guide tone. So the third and seventh. And we are playing over a regular blues. Welcome back on another daily music tip. I am Giovanni Perin and I hope you are having a great day. Please, if you like the content, subscribe to my YouTube channel and put a like on my Facebook page. If you want, you can also follow me on Instagram. Today we are talking about how to comp yourself with the left hand using just the third and seventh of the chord. And uh, we are playing over a regular F blues. Of course, we cannot divide 100% our hands because the left hand will always have the right hand while playing solo, but we can try to imitate piano players that are playing with the left hand the comping and with the right hand the melodic lines. Today we are focusing on left hand comping. In an F blues there are three chords, there are F7, B flat and C7. The voicing for F7 is A and E flat. So the third and the seventh. And those are the guide tones. If you don't know anything about guide tones, just go back and check my previous lessons about guide tones. And then we have for B flat, the seventh and the third. Why do we play the seventh and the third, so A flat and D, instead of playing the third and the seventh? That would be D and A flat. There are two reasons for that. The first one is that if we play up here, we don't have enough space for developing a good melodic line in the right hand. The second reason is an harmonic reason. In fact, when you're connecting two chords, you have to move the less you can. Less is better, right? So you move from here to here. And then for going from B flat to C7, you just transpose everything one tone up. So we have B flat and E that are the seventh and the third of a C7 chord. So minor seven and third. Remember, we are always talking about the dominant seven chord. So it's a regular triad with the add of a minor seven on top. So those are our three voicing. The first exercise will be to play on the one of each bar using just our left hand. A one, two, three, four, one. So four time F. Two time B flat. Other two times F. One time C. One time B flat. And one time F. The second exercise would be to play that strokes with your left hand and playing quarter notes and with your right hand play a regular F blues scale or a minor pentatonic of F. So we have one, flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven, and one. If you don't know anything about the blues scale, the minor pentatonic, please go back and check out my previous music tip about those topics. Let's see how it sounds. Don't play too much because you want to focus on the left hand. Try to play some motifs.
Sometimes I was feeling it with some normal strokes, but I don't use that much pedal because I want the melody to stand out clearly and if I play too much pedal then everything is ringing and that stroke is a good device in order not to interfere with my right hand. I try to play really soft left hand comping and then to fill with my scale. Of course there are many other ways for comping but those are the easiest one. The third way would be to fill the space of the right hand with the left hand. Let's see how it sounds. not to overdo with your left hand. I try to leave a lot of spaces in between and I don't comb myself that much, especially if there's another comping instrument such as the piano or the guitar. It's just to keep the flavor of the chords that are moving on. If you like the lesson, remember to put a like on the video, turn on the notification button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And of course, feel free to like my Facebook page and follow me on Instagram and if you have any comment just write them here below the video. Thanks a lot and we see each other tomorrow for another great daily music tip.